This video is about teaching the concept of addition. So we're going to look at a two digit number added to a two digit number, 25 add 13. So we're going to use Dean's to help support this. So I know using my place value knowledge that 25 means that I've got two tens, 10, 20, and I've got five units. And 13 is made up of one 10, and three units. So I could start by adding my tens first and then my units, or I could start with adding my units first and then my tens. I think I'm going to start with my tens. So I've got two tens and another 10. I've got three tens all together. So two tens and one 10 gives me three tens. It gives me 30. Now I'm going to add my 5 units to my 3 units. So 5 add 3 gives me 8. So all together I've got 30, I've got 3 tens and 8 units, which gives me 38. Now as we move to slightly larger numbers, so let's have 25 still, and we'll add 25 to 47. We do this in the same way, and we can also explore whether it makes a difference if we start with 47 and add 25 using the commutative law. So we'll make 25 again, so two tens, 10, 20, and five units. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to add that to 47. So four tens and seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this time I'm going to start with my tens. So I'm going to add my two tens to my four tens. So two tens and four tens all together I've got six tens and six tens means sixty. And I've got seven units and five units. Now I think I'm going to start with seven as it's the largest number. So two, four, six, seven. And then I know if I add three units to this, I get 10 and I've got another two. So I've got 12. Seven add five is 12. Now we could exchange 10 of our units for another bar of 10, one of our sticks of 10, we can just check that they are the same by lining them up against each other. Okay, so I'm going to exchange those. So actually now what I've got is seven tens and two units. So 60 add 12 is 72. 